Hi everyone, this is Natraj. I am back with another video. Today I am going to talk about that deploying the sonar cube on AWS EC2 instant using Terraform. What is sonar cube? Sonar cube is a, one of the leading quality management tool. Sonar cube is available on open source platform. It is generally to analyze the code and continues to inspect the code quality of the applications. Sonar cubes also display the health of the applications as well as that discover the any code vulnerabilities. Sonar cube key features will be see one by one. The first one is that code quality checkups. So Sonar cube is checks that overall the health of your code are more important than highlighting your code related issues. This is one of the most key features. Next one is that intelligent bug detections. Sonar cube capable to point out your mistakes like null definitions or logical errors or resource leakage. Next one is that multi language supports. Sonar cube has most capable to support the different language platform like C, JavaScript and moreover. Next one is that DevOps integrations. So it can easily to integrate with the CI CD tool using webhook or REST API. Moving to the next slide, plan and pricing models. So Sonar Cube can able to run on your local machines or Docker container. You can also host it on your on-premise environment or uh, cloud-based servers. Sonar Cube comes with that community editions, developer editions, also that enterprise editions. The community edition is a free one, also is open source, and the remaining editions all are not free. Here I am provided the cost of that each edition details. You can choose your uh, platform based on your needs. So moving to that next slide. So next one is that architecture diagram. In this video, we will deploy the Sonar Cube on AWS EC2 instance through Terraform. The step one is that set up in that AWS Ubuntu EC2 machines. Here we need to spin up that EC2 instance with the sudo privilege before installing that Sonar Cube server. So one of the most important things is we need to at least 3 GB of RAM to provide with the Sonar Cube instance because we, then only that the Sonar Cube efficiency will be improved. Step two is that installing and configuring that PostgreSQL for that Sonar Cube. So here we are set up in the database for the Sonar Cube. To save the report analysis, also that also that helping maintaining that report versions. Next one is that step three. Here we are installing the Sonar Cube on Amazon Ubuntu environment. So here we are going to download the binaries for the Sonar Cube and uh, installed over them. Next one is that steps four, configuring the Sonar Cube on Amazon Ubuntu, also allowing the inbo inbounding traffic through security groups. So in these steps we are running the Sonar Cube instance as a root user allowing the port for globally exposed with the help of that security groups. Next one is that step 5 configuring the system MD service for the Sonar Cube. So here we are creating the system D service for uh, running as that system startup scripts. Next one is that step 6 Installing and configuring the Nginx as a reverse proxy for the Sonar Cube. So mainly used for reverse proxy is acting as the catch mechanism. Also, it be buffered to reduce the real application latency part. Next one is that step seven. We are creating the subdomain in the AWS Route 53 for Sonar Cube. Set up and subdomain of that Sonar Cube website. Next one is that step eight. So assessing the Sonar Cube from UA. So we can assess that Sonar Cube UA at sonar.roboforming.link. So this is I am already defining in that in the domain level. So by default the credential is remaining as the same. User is that admin, password is that admin. You can see the diagram here. When I assess my application, the request will be going to that route 53 then it'll be directly hitting that nginx but my backend is running as the sonar cube application so this is the reverse proxy method we are moving to that sonar cube visual studio so we'll be see on that terraform code we are at that visual studio source code 
so the entire source code is available on my repository you can clone the repository based on your needs so first we will be going to see on that main.tf file in this main.tf file i declare that aws provider it will be help to that interacting with that many aws service so next one is that aws underscore instant resource it basically to provisioning that aws it ec2 resource so we will be see on that parameter one by one the first one is that ama id the ama id i defining as the free tier ama image next one is that instant types here i am specified as that t2 medium next one is that user data so i am returning the shell scripts to during the executions of that ec2 instance it be installing the package one, one by one so we will be see on this file later next one is that security groups so here i am allowing that 80 port number next one is that key underscore name basically to allocating the ssh key value here and then is a tagging port so tagging will be used to that identifying that instance next one is that data block so data block is is mainly used for to providing that details about that specific route 53 hosting zone information next one is that aws route 53 record this resource block mainly used to that create the a record so we will be see one by one here the name i am allocating with the sonar next in the parameter is types here i am uh, assigning the a record here because i am associating with my ip address so that was the reason i am choosing with the a record next one is that zone id so already i defined the data block so i am here i am fetching from uh, zone id from that my data block itself next one is that record so basically this ip address i fetching from that aws instant resource uh, next one is that ttl so here i providing as that 300 next one is that depend on depend on parameter basically to depend on that aws instance then only will be creating on that record so we'll be see on that sonarcube.ss script file this entire file i written with the shell scripts so this recommended action value the provided by that sonarcube documentations so we'll be see one by one the first the blog is i'm increasing that kernel uh, current section value so also i am setting that permanent value here uh, this value you know will be setting on the terminal only so i am setting with that limit configuration file i am setting as the permanent these things the sonar cubes required as that jdk 17 version so that was the reason i am installing the jdk versions also i am choosing the java path here next one is that i am installing the post sql db also i am creating that username and a database for that sonar cube next block is that i am downloading that sonar cube by binaries and extracted that particular path and also i created the sonar cube property file according to that application need then the properties file i am providing the db information for example username password the url the entire information i am providing from here later on that i am creating that group for that this particular uh, directory here the next one is that system service file this particular file may mainly used to do that start up that uh, our sonar cube service here we have to ensure about where you are extracted the folder the same path we have to provide that here only so this is the main component here also that we are creating that user and group uh, things here we provided later on that we are uh, enabling that uh, demand reloader service because then only it will be that the service will be activated next one is that enabling the run level port next one is that nginx service we are installing the nginx is that reverse proxy nginx by default running as the port number is 80 then we are deleting the default file it will be under that site hyphen enable directory then we are creating the sonar file then the particular section we are appending that value to the sonar cube you can see i think the server name we are def defining that uh, subdomain called sonar.roboforming.link uh, the sonar cube is running as the default port is that 9000 so basically we are enabling the forwarder so whenever the request is assessed from that nginx it be directly forward to that 9000 port number later on that we are enabled that symbolic link then we are enabling that startup scripts so we are moving to that uh, terminal to executing the entire operation let us see right now i am at the terminal so already i am cloning the repository so i am directly i am executing the terraform apply command so my code is visible here so directly i am executing the terraform command here
yeah it, the planning is showing as a three resource so it be going to create the three resource i'm i'm providing that yes is the input here so resource is creating on right now the user data file during the execution we are installing the all the package still the installation is going on at least it will take for uh, 10 minutes to executing the complete operation now the subdomain is creating on it yeah the terraform job is successfully executed we are moving to that aws console so right now i am at that aws console just i am refreshing the page yeah the sonar cube instance is created successfully also i am going to the route 53 services just i am clicking here so i am clicking the host zone file one this is the domain information so i already i purchased the domain from that aws so i'm going to click that uh, roboforming.link file yeah you can see the things a record so just i can elaborate here sonar.roboforming.link is created the subdomain record also the a record type also will be there uh, this is ip address for my ec2 instance yeah so whatever the value i provide the ttl so everything will be the properly appeared here so i am going to assess the application from the new tab i am assessing the subdomain name here so i am enter it here that be loading my sonar cube page so if you are not able to particular page is not loading please wait some couple of time because the package will be need some time to installations so in my case is appear immediately so I have, as i said no the default username password is admin so just i can provide the same thing enter it just i'm ignoring you saving the operations yeah here i am providing the dummy password because this is a testing environment yeah the page is loaded successfully so i dismiss the things yeah so we are successfully installed that's on our cube hopefully the video will be useful to everyone thanks for watching have a nice day bye bye